We are back on your screens again with another exciting edition of People and Places here on Ghana Web TV. Today, we are in the biggest Zongo community in Ghana. We are in Nima, and we are going to take a tour around the community. What do you know about Nima? What have you heard about Nima? And what don't you know that you would want to find out? Well, we have all these answers for you when we return from this quick break. I am Wanda Hagan and I'm always excited to come your way with another edition of People in Places. Welcome aboard. Welcome back from the break. Thank you for staying with us. So our guest today is Abdul Fatal Ahasan. I like to call him a Nima boy because he was born and bred here. He's lived here almost all his life, or let's say all his life. Fatal. Yeah. Call Lafia. Lafia. How do you say how are you? Yeah, a day. Yeah, a day. Lafia. Great. Yeah. Okay, so how long have you stayed in Nima? I know you were born here, but like, how was the period of time? Okay, let me say I was born and bred close to 50 years now. Okay. Yes. That's a long time. Yeah, a long time. Then we have more information from you today. I'll okay. do my best and give you more information. Right. So far as my age is concerned. Great. Tell us, where does Nima start from and end? Okay. Let me put it this way. Um, Nima starts from Nima Police Station. Okay. Right opposite of our president house, Nana Adudangwa Akufuadu. Okay. So, when you are coming from uh, Netherlands Embassy, that's the Obechebi Lamte Bridge, right? Yeah. So, Nima started from there mm -hmm. through Green Road and end at uh, Paloma. Okay. Then continue from Paloma, in between Paloma and the Gota. So you come up to here, Newtown Gota here. Half of Kokumlemle uh, uh, and Newtown is part of Ayawasu Central. That's Alad. But the other side of Newtown, it continues like that, going to Kotobabi, mm -hmm. up to uh, 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 the street. That's Pig Farm. Mm -hmm. That's total, that filling station. Yeah. Then he continues there, goes uh, up to 37 military hospital. Then okay. continues uh, up to Flagstaff House and end at that the same bridge. That's oh, Netherlands okay. Embassy. That's I Nima. See. But they, they came and divided the constituency into two. Okay. First, it was East Ayawaso constituency, mm -hmm. made of Nima, Mamobi, Kandaruga, Kotobabi, and Newtown, Kwatru. Mm -hmm. But now they made it Ayawaso East and Ayawaso North. So let me break it down. Ayawaso East is Nima East and West and Kandaruga. Okay. Ayawaso North is Mamobi East, Mamobi West, and Kwatru. That's Newtown. Okay. But when you join the two, all is Nima. Nima, okay. In Nima also, we have 441. Okay. Area community, okay. 441 community. Okay. We have Alan Gota community. Mm -hmm. Then we have Mamobi community. Okay. Then we have Nima community. You see how it is? Mm. Uh -huh. okay. So that is Nima for you. And Nima is very big. Very, very big. And we are going to have a tour of the place, like I told you earlier. We'll see all the corners and, and all the places that you did not know before today. And Fatal is going to help us do that. So where will we start our tour from? Yeah, we need to start from, from the market. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. The market is West African market. Okay. If, if I may say. Mm -hmm. um, people from Togo, Benin, mm -hmm. Nigeria, Mali, Niger, Cote d'Ivoire, they came uh, in Lima on Wednesday mm -hmm. to sell their product. Their every booth. Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Oh. So if Nima can can host a West African market, mm -hmm. I think Nima is a community that the whole Ghana shouldn't joke about. Okay. You understand? Okay. Uh -huh. All right. When it, when it comes to social economic activities. Mm. So we'll be going through the markets and then 
we'll, he will tell us which other places from there. So okay. let's head towards the market. Okay, the market starts from here, as you can see. Okay. You see the woman selling pepper, fish, smoky fish, everything that you can find here. Okay. And like I told you, this woman that sells fish, mm -hmm. they're from Jamestown, oh, okay. Choco area. Okay. Gamachi, that's Gamachi. But, but they are here Wednesday, because it's a market. Yes, day. every Wednesday, they also came here and sell their fish. And some of them even come far as Eastern region and other parts of Ghana. Okay. Not only out of Ghana, mm. even part of Ghana. What are some of the things you find on a typical market day here at Nima? Millet, uh, yam, beans, everything. Okay. Everything. Aside food, what else? You can find those who are into herbal medicine. Okay. Side food, herbal medicine. Uh, some of them also sell clothing. Okay. Like a hand clothing and even already made clothing, you understand? Anything you want, you can find it here. But the food stuff, I like main thing, food stuff. And it's, you know, one thing about the market also, the food stuff are, are almost like, like cheap. Let me put it this way like, everybody affordable. can afford them, affordable mm. compared to other markets. Oh, okay. Even if you want to buy something in Accra, you come here, you get it less. Every day or only on market days? They come every day, but the market day is like everybody is, is, is selling yeah. in, in large quantity. People yeah. will come with the trucks and pack and go and sell mm. other markets okay. and other communities too. Okay. Yeah. Where are we going next from here? From here, I think we need to go out of the market mm -hmm. so that we can see other parts of Lima also. The main market itself is there. But it starts from them from here on the streets. You understand? Okay. Up to the, the mosque area. Okay. Yes. So we'll, we'll continue our tour, but we just want to take a look at some of the things they have here in the market, and then we'll start the conversation into details okay. when we move to our next destination. So we made a stop here at uh, the medicine market in Nima, yeah. inside the Nima market. And we want to speak to the sellers and just get what this whole thing is about, what kind of medicines they have and what kind of medicines people usually come here to buy. Let's say. It's basically a herbal medicine. Okay, aside herbal, no. I am only spiritual medicine. So what happens? Okay. 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 I was from the phone. I was so we just spoke to one woman who also 
um, sells the medicines here. She calls her, she's Anestina, a Siedu. And she took us through uh, the kinds of medicines they have here and what some people come here to buy them for. So we'll continue with the tour with Fatal. Right now we are at Marlon Futa's house, but now owned by his grandson or his son, mm. Nima Futa himself, the chief of Nima. Okay. Marlon Futa is someone that he came from from the north. Let me put it that way. Mm -hmm. He's a full animal, mm. but he's a spiritual leader, like like Imam. So he's the one who the camp people of Osu traditional council. Mm put the whole Nima in his hands, like a caretaker. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. They trust them in him, they believe him, and they feel like he's supposed to be like a caretaker of the whole Nima of the land. land. Okay. That's way back, before I was born. Mm. Uh -huh. But when we grew up, we, 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 we know the story. Now the place has changed, because development has come. Has to come. Me, yeah. First, it doesn't look like this, okay. you understand? Okay. So now, he is past already many many years yeah. so now the new footer himself put this edifice there's another one too in the market for now what has become of the house do people does he live here does he yeah he lives here Futter, okay. yeah he, he lives, lives here, here. Okay. he lives here in the other house too okay. some of the time you meet his, his chiefs other colleagues chiefs, to do their meetings and uh, 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 programs here yeah. yes okay. you can talk about Nima and Stop talking about Mala Futa. Okay. Yes. Okay. But we've been talking about Nima, Nima, Nima. The name Nima, is it a Hausa word? What does it mean? Nima means it's, it's Arabic language. Mm. It's not Nima, it's Nima. Nima. Yes. Okay. But some of, some of the people they can't pronounce it and they say Nima, Nima, Nima. So Nima in Arabic language it means bless something like something. Blessing. Okay. Uh, something blessed. Mm. Yes. So. But the real name of Nima is Nima. Nima. That sounds Nima. Ga. It, it's, it's a Ga language. Okay. Nima. So Ni means chief. Ma means land. So Nima. Nis land. Nis land. So the land of the chiefs. The land of the chief. Precisely also, also traditional chief or chiefs. Oh, okay. Yes, they own Nima. They are, they are landlords of this place. Mm. So it means that the place was named um, to give them, to acknowledge the people who gave you the land. Yes. What is the population of Nima? When you take population of Nima, mm. let's put this population census. They don't count a lot of people. You understand? We call we have something we call round house, round compound house in Nima. One room takes more than ten people. One room, some of the room. The less is four, five. Why? Well, how big? They is call the it. Room? They call it singly room. It's not. It's just a, let's say from where this man is standing here. And it takes ten people. Some of the room take more than ten chairs. You understand? If you enter the house, they say, okay, everybody go into your room. You see one room contains seven, one contains six, five, ten. So all these people, some of them, they don't count them when it comes to the population census. So for me, if you ask me the population of Lima, it's more than 500,000. And what kind of people live here? Is it purely a Muslim community? Or do you have other people around? We have everybody in Nima. Nima is a cosmopolitan area where you can find a lot of tribe across the world. Not Africa, across the world. Senegalese, Lebanese, even Arab. We have Egyptians in Nima. Even they make family with our people, born with them. Our current MC, Adia Salma, 
My mother is an Egyptian. My father is a Chamba. That, that tribe came from Tokyo. Okay. But they settled down in, in Ghana, you understand? And Chamba also, they have uh, a place called Chamba Community in the north, that Bimbila side. You understand? So you see how we link up. So you can find Muslims, you can find Christians. And how, in how, Nima. But how... when you take the religion between Muslims and Christians, the, po the population, let's say, 80% form as Muslims oh. and 20% form as Christians. Okay. You can find everybody pray, doing his own thing. We have churches, we have mosques. You understand? In the community, you can find a church here, mosque here. When the time card, you see Allah, on Sunday, you see they are, they are doing their church. Nobody is worrying anybody. So you, you understand? Together. We, we, we and you put understand each other. Together. Even they speak outside language. That's the language all of us speak. You understand? You find a gun person speaking outside language, you shock. Unless they tell you it's a gun. Or oh, anyway, you understand? Uh -huh. Talking so. about mosque, we'll just hold the rest of the conversation. And we are going to the central mosque right now. Fatal is leading us there. When we get there, we'll continue the conversation. So you can see some curries and other items behind me. This leads us to our next stop, which is the central mosque here in Nima. And Fatal is going to tell us about the mosque. So when was this built? Do you know that? Mm, the mosque was built, I don't know the years. Okay. But I grew up and met this uh, mosque. Then it's not like this. Okay. Uh -huh. The reason why I want us to talk about the mosque is when you are coming into Nima, it's a two thing or three thing that they will give you, they will use it and give you direction. So one, like landmark. Landmark. One is the runabout. The second one is the market. Okay. The third one is the mosque. The mosque. Uh -huh. Where the mosque, they call it Masalachi. Masalachi means mosque in outside language. Okay. Then they say Masalachi Kado. Kado is a tribe came from Mali and many many of them settled here mm. during Mali and Futa's time. Okay. So they named this mosque after their, their tribe like Masalachin Kado because around this mosque the houses is their houses. When you look at that tribe the majority of the tribe they live here and so they started building the, the mosque with their labor work, everything. So the mosque is a central mosque, but it's, it's been handled or controlled by Kado people. So they call the mosque Masalachin Kado. So for past 10 years, and they feel like now they have to re redevelop the, 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 the place. So they bring all, everything down from scratch, and they build this that you are seeing. And they said they don't want any organization or anybody to fund it, like give them money to do. They will do it by themselves. So you see these old people, mm -hmm. they are the people who build this mosque. They put sand here, iron rods, everything, all the building materials, they carry it by from, themselves. from the foundation, yes, to the top. That you are seeing today. You understand? So it's a mosque that they don't joke with it when it comes to the Nima. Nima Central Mosque. Mm. It was built by the Nima people only. No funding from anywhere. They said they don't want anybody's money. They want to build this mosque by themselves. Mm. And by their of... contribution mm. and their labor force. Okay. Yes. Aside the markets which you've shown us, the runabout and the central mosque, do we have any other very interesting places? Here in Nima, before we even go to Kaupili, that mm, you want to talk Okay, let me, let me say, I'll just take you right here. The place is a ghetto where you find a youth maybe smoking or sitting down, mm. like a ghetto. Mm. Yeah, at yeah. least you have to, you yeah, have to yeah, see yeah. one yeah. of, one of yeah, them, yeah, yeah, at yeah. least you understand, mm. so that you can talk something small Very also important. there. Very important. Yes. Okay, yes. so we are going to the ghetto. Let's go. Yeah.
Okay, so Fatal, there's one thing I noticed. Yeah. Especially around the mosque. I don't know if they are Nima people, but you see a lot of beggars around there. Is it like families here or there are people who are from outside or like where do they come from and why are they so many? These people they just migrate from from countries to to Ghana. Mm. And it's a it's a national issue, national discourse now. I heard yes, on radio TV people begging. are talking about it. They are not Nima people. Okay. They are not at all. We don't even know them. They don't know us. But they just migrate and they are here begging. So this is the biggest Islamic school in the whole Zongo community called Islamic Research. Uh, it's, it's also developed by the Nima people okay. from the scratch. Yes, and now a lot of people came from all over Ghana to come and, uh, how do you call it, to learn. Okay. Yeah. So it's more they, like... They don't, they don't do only Arabic and English. It's a school from class one to, oh, okay. to, the, to the top level. Okay, and now, even though it was built by the Nima people, everybody... Yeah, people from here. Eastern region, Volta region, even outside Ghana, mm -hmm. Togo, Benin, Niger, and things. Okay. They come here. Okay. Yeah. So this is what we call the... Is this the ghetto? Yeah, this is the ghetto that you see. Okay. It seems like they are not there plenty. Few of them are there. But we can go to that yeah, place and then just interact with some yes, of them. Yes. What is this place called? What's, what's yeah, the name the, of the ghetto? The ghetto called Gorillas. Gorillas. Yeah, we have two, two ghettos here. Okay. One is Gorillas and other one, this corner is MM. MM means money madness. Okay. Money madness, you understand? Mm. So, and then gorillas. gorillas is the mother of everything. You mentioned Gorillas in Nima. It's everybody a place knows. that everybody knows. Okay. Uh -huh. So we are inside the ghetto proper and I'm surrounded by a group of young uh, men who I'm going to speak to. Boss, good afternoon. Good afternoon, madam. What's your name? Um, my name is Alaj. Alaji. Alaji? Yeah. Just Alaji? You can call me Horace. Okay. What do you do? I'm a businessman. Businessman? Yeah. That's a big title. What do you, what yeah. do you sell? What I do you trade? I engage in um, farming and also in transportation. Farming? And transportation, Okay. Yeah. When you say farming, what do you mean? I'm mixed farming. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I rear animals and also blue cross. Okay. And I also own certain um, Okada and uh, that tricycle. That works for me. Okay, yeah. and how did you get um, these things? How did you get the tricycles to start the business? And how did you get the animals? Are a lot. Yeah, how did you yeah, get yeah, them? yeah, yeah. It's, it's, the, it's the farming that gives me the money. Okay. Yeah, then I decided to invest the money in another something business. Something else. Yeah. That's creative. Yeah. So, how did you get your animals? So you see, the animals, usually we go to Asham mm. to purchase them over there or buy them. Mm. At a young age. Yeah. So, at which age did you start this? Oh, the business. I started this. Um, let me take it like five years, five years back now. Okay. Yeah. I'm asking this because you are young, so I'm wondering where you got the <laughs> money from to go and buy the animals uh, and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's all, it all depends on the brain. You have to use your brain. Mm. Yeah, because I sat down myself and then I asked myself a question. I decided to research about the billionaires in the world and billionaires in the world. And I saw that most of them are, I mean, businessmen. Okay. They do business on their own and then they are able to make it in life. So you decided to So I decided to also venture into business. Do you smoke? Um, <laughs> I can tell you before. Mm. Before you used to smoke? Before, yeah. What, what, what were you when smoking? I was, I was in secondary school. Okay. Mm -hmm. What were you smoking? 
Oh, Ganja or cigar? I don't like cigarettes at all because it's poisonous. Okay. Yeah, cigarettes, I don't even want to hear the scent. Okay. Yeah, it's poisonous. I don't even want to hear the scent. Okay, but I mean, like, why did you start smoking? Is it for the fun of it or what? Um, what I would say what, it's, what it's, it? it's, it's, it's a peer pressure. Oh, but then, okay. Okay. I need to be candid. Okay. Yeah, because when I got to school, the friends that I, I met in school mm. were those that introduced me to it. <laughs> And so, and how was the feeling for you? By you then, go, do you get high and all of that? Oh, truly, you get high, you get high. But it's not everyone that is good for. Me. To me, like this, when I get high, I'm able to eat well. Yeah. I mean, and then rest well also. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. And then uh, before I used to have an eye problem, yeah. but when I started smoking, I mean, the eye problem stopped. And when I did some research, they said, I mean, the research showed me that we, the weed, they have certain, I mean, chemicals in it, which helps in, I mean, curing glaucoma. Mm -hmm. I see. So why did you stop then? Um, the reason why I stopped is, is, is also due to the kids in my area. Some of most of the kids look up to me for inspiration and then they use me as a role model. Mm. When they see me, they like me and then they follow me. So I don't want them to see me engaged in such act. Yeah, you're a big man. Thank you for sharing <laughs> your welcome. story. Boss, good, good afternoon. What's your name? <laughs> My name is Musa MP. Musa MP. MP. Hey, you're a big man here. Oh. <laughs> okay, Musa, what do you do? Uh, I'm a businessman. Businessman. Mm. You're also a businessman. Yes. You're rich people. Yeah. Okay. And you also stay here or you come to do your business and then no, you go home? I come, I come home. Okay. I come give my animals food, mm. do my things, smoke, go out. You smoke? Yeah, I smoke. Why do you smoke? <laughs> <laughs> no, see my, I'm yeah. a real customer. Real ganja. <laughs> yeah, only, only ganja. Okay. Mm. Why do you smoke ganja though? It's not my pressure. It soak your pressure. Yeah, what does so, that mean? So, mm, it stops your pressure. Yes. Like it, I break it down for me. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> it helps you forget your problems Problem, or what? Plenty problems. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. I lost my father. I'm, I'm the first one of my family. Mm. Yeah. Oh. A, I get plenty of family. Mm. I help. Yeah. Pressure do on my top. It's if I smoke, if I go out. I use up. I know how to talk to my mother. I know how to talk to my sisters. And, mm. and so it doesn't yes, make you misbehave. It makes you calm yeah, down, rather. Calm down, calm down. I see. And when did you start smoking? <laughs> no, 2003. Oh, I see. I see. But you know, smoking ganja is expensive, right? Yeah. So if you are doing business and you are investing in it, what your money get from it? <laughs> no, mama, no. You won't get finished. No. <laughs> how much? How much is a uh, roll? Roll is come on two CD. Two CD. And you smoke how many times a day? No. <laughs> if I smoke this morning, all day, if I want sleep again, I'll take one. And mm. uh, two times a day. Okay, yes. but that's about you. I want to know about ghetto life. You know, they say a lot of people who live in the ghetto do bad things. Do you experience that and do you know, are you part of that? No. Okay. Uh, no. No again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, three times. Uh, it means no. you're emphasizing that. Uh, so, so what... I don't support that thing. Mm. Uh, what, makes you, book. what makes you not engage in such things? And do you see some of your brothers or sisters doing any illegal things like that? I'll suck you. Uh, I'll give you crown. Okay. Uh, if I did, yeah, yeah. that's what they, they call me MP. Okay. Uh, if you come inside my ghetto, they, they behave. I'm rubber, the okay. No, they go outside. This year, yeah, yeah. Oh, but this side, yeah. Oh, so it's your ghetto? Mm. You are in charge? Uh, MP. Oh, I see. <laughs> Street <laughs> MP. <laughs> nice one. No, I live with my family. This is my house. I live in this house. Okay. Uh, I live with my mother. If I'm a bad boy, my people around me are not going to give me support. Uh, see, my, see my face. Fresh face. I don't get <laughs> any marks inside my body. Free anywhere I go enter. Mm. 
mm. anywhere. Mm. Uh, my duty is time to pray with five times daily prayers. I'll, I'll do it. Uh, I can't give my animals food. I go my work. I they work at soccer beds. Oh, okay. uh, nice one. As the, the visual bouncer. Mm. Uh, I'll be the visual bouncer. They go check. If they can't work, I'll mark them. Come collect my pay. Mm. So, only smoke by the smoke. I'll take somebody's thing. Mm. Your thing is not my own. Mm. Unless you give me, you dash me. This one, I dash you take. Yeah, it's my own bag. I cannot come and steal it. Okay. Okay. Nice one. Mm. Bossu, yeah. what's your name? My name is Ibrahim. Okay, let me sit well. So, Ibrahim, right? Ibrahim Suleiman. Suleiman. Yes. Okay. But you're popularly known as what? Mighty Stone. Mighty Stone. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, is this where you live? Well, this is my area. This is our community. This is my brothers. Okay. Okay. So, what do you come here to do? Well, first of all, I'm a sign writer and an artist. Oh, so you do the yeah, two? Yeah, I do the two. <laughs> I'm With a dance with the yeah. <laughs> Yes, man. What would I say? What do you mean? What do you mean? I feel you. What do you mean? I'm a sister. 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 Come back, you Satan. Board up on the road. Man, you have to know the judgment they are going to be done. Tell me now who are going to feel it if you the promised land. Me know the man. He could never lie. When he promised, he could never fail. Man, do good. Never okay. do bad. You know, this is a mighty stone for you, sister. Okay, okay. That was that was a nice one. Yeah. So do you get high to sing or you can write at any point? Yeah. It's, I do raga music. Yes. But yeah, what so. what motivate what inspires you to write or to sing? Well, it's like our uh, street life. When I see the street life, how we are living in the ghetto, mm. you know. So I study down and sight and take those things to compose and write something about it. Okay. Okay. Do you smoke? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big question. Big man. question. Yeah, man. Well, first of all, I feel good I smoke. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But why do you smoke? Whoa. What does it do for you? <laughs> the smoke, I smoke it because it gives me some motivation. Concentrate on my own thing that I want to do on the earth. Okay. Sounds like the music and the sound. Mm. Like an audio picture and just display you right now on the board. I see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, I could see that from your freestyle. Yes. But how does this bring you money? And how oh, do you tend to. As <laughs> how do you tend to blow? Because if you are here, nobody will hear your song. Okay. Well, I'm an underground artist. Yeah. For the at the same time, I'm a songwriter. So, sorry, I want to bring you. Mm -hmm. As you see this bandage, yeah. it's an accident. Okay. And my leg here, I have an accident. Oh, wow. So, sorry about that. Yes. I had an accident by car. I had a in my car. Oh, that's terrible. And the driver ran away with me. Wow. So, I'm just from Tamale, this. I went to Tamale almost about three months. Okay. I went to Black Medicine. So I just came from Tamale this morning. And I guess I should come and see my brothers and my family. Oh, I see. I see. But so is it better now? Your legs? Yes. It's better Somehow. now? Somehow. Somehow. I see. So. Sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that. Let me, let me just speak to your brother. Super. Super, that's your name. Original. <laughs> Super, that's your name, right? No, my name is, my name is Kuwait. Your name is what? Kuwait. Kuwait. Yeah. That's your original no, name. No, no, that's my name. Oh, you're also a singer, yeah, I'm an artist. artist. Yeah. Okay, and, and what genre of music do you do? I do Afrobeat and rap. I'm I've got a bunch of music. Like, you said? Almost 21 songs. People are watching you, so maybe yes. give them one or two lines. Yeah. Let's okay. let them start. I grab the mic and change the game. You and I, you know, be same. Who be the baddest MC? Hey, mention my name. I know they rush, I know they talk, I know they do like others they claim. I'm here for the music. Who's the here for the fame? Mambo rappers will lose style. Show you how we do this. Mess up with the boo. Get stuck in the bullshit. OJ. People know me in the bad that I speak. 
nice one, nice one. Original, original. So, so, you could say you could buy. I know. Um, I saw you take something small when I came here. What was what was that for? You saw me. Take some like you were smoking something small. Did you saw me? Did yeah. you saw me? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, you don't smoke. Why do you smoke? You smoke. Okay. Smoke. So why do you smoke? I mostly um. I sometimes, me, I don't used to smoke it like how you mean or you understand okay. it, but okay. I, in a form of tea. A know? form of what? Tea, tea, okay. tea. Tea? Tea, yeah. Oh, okay. Early morning. Okay. Yeah, because I've got some medical issues. So you yes, drink it? It was prescribed for me. Oh, I see. So I used it I for, since I was like 14 years. Oh, okay. Because I grew up at the Hmm. My grandfather is a raster man. Long dreadlocks. Long is that why you are doing small, small dreads? Do you intend to do the long dreadlocks? <laughs> well, I've, I've done and cut it off. Oh, I see. Yeah, I used to get dreadlocks. Oh. Like my brother, but I guess because I'm rebranding myself in a way, in my musical career. So okay. I'm branding. But I, I, I just want you to talk about the perception that. I mean, I was speaking to some of your brothers, and they are doing legitimate business. Okay. So the perception out there that ghetto youth are violent and all of that, what is it for men? Why do you think people think like that? No, the ghetto is not for bad people, like how people see it. Mm. Because, you see, this place is like, they call it a scrum area. You see so many people, you see other, other materials mm. around, as my brothers are dealing in the same business. So. If people are around, that doesn't even call it to be a ghetto. So okay. like that. it's even a disrespect. Okay. You understand? Because yeah. you are living in your luxury place. You yeah. call it elite and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So where I live, you call it ghetto. No, it's not ghetto. Okay. But we take it like that, you know. But some of you actually call it ghetto. Oh no, you know, that's what they have been used to okay. calling it and okay. stuff. But here is Nima, here is Gorillas. Yes, our Gorillas. Gorillas. Yes, yeah, no ghetto. Take uh, you are going to go with less if you hear you you bring it. It's not ghetto. Ghetto is not. Okay, so me so most time if I see people saying ghetto, I used to tell them, say yo, check your way. Mm. People live here, they do businesses. My auntie have got stores. My brothers have got other farm activities ongoing and the scraps. Mm. You see, we have got so many plastic materials around. Mm -hmm. It's rubbish. Yeah. We don't like it. For example, we sleep on people, they are rubbish, rubbish. Mm. Yeah. But we are in it. We have even get knowledge to even gather them up. We even need like support okay. from even the government to even make it a big business for us. Okay. Everything, they are good, they are bad. Once they have bad, that's why we got good. Once they have good, we have to get bad. But here, the bad are few. Okay. I'm being honest with you. Because we here, or me like this, I'm a musical artist, see my music box, I always carry it around. Okay. I try to let people know me. I'm trying to put myself out there, but it's hard. Okay. This is just half of the conversation. There's a lot more we are going into, but we need to take a quick break, after which we'll delve more into the Nima life and everything else you need to know. This is still People and Places. Don't go away. From the dawn of time, people have engaged in several businesses. With the onset of technology and innovation, life has relatively been made easier. By using debit or credit cards. Mobile banking. Thank you. And your favorite mobile money? Tech has indeed married business. On BizTech, we spend time with faces behind known and upcoming businesses in the country. Learn more about the new technologies and innovation. As well as find out about the trending issues in the world of business. Join us as we serve you with a variety of compelling interviews, projects and others right here on Ghana Web TV. We are back. Thank you for staying with us while we went on that quick break. 
right now we are at the most popular food joint in Nima. It's called Tawakaltu and it's owned by Hajia Lami. It leads us into the conversation about food and other things and our guest Fatal is still here with us to take us through. So talking about food, what is the most popular food of um, the people of Nima? When you come to Nima on a typical day, what are some of the common things you can find? Food. Food? Yes. Okay, let's say when daybreak mm. in the morning, the food that we take, number one, is cocoa. Okay. Cocoa and kose. Hausa cocoa. Hausa cocoa, typical one. Okay. Cocoa. And we have kose. You know kose? Yes. Then we have masa. Okay. The masa, they use, sometimes they use rice. Sometimes they use uh, other uh, products mm. and do massa. And sometimes they use uh, both fruits or you call it picasso. Okay. They use uh, the same flour to okay. do it. And some also take it with bread. Okay. You understand? Yeah. That's in the morning. Then after taking cocoa, you can also take wache. You understand? Wache comes with. Gari, Wagashi, Wele. We call it Ganda. Okay. When we call it Ganda, we don't say Wele. Mm. We call it Wele. Then fish, mm. then meat, you understand? And macro. Okay. Then other leaves like salad yeah. and other things, yeah. you understand? That's for watching. That's for watching. Okay. We have two Ozafi. Two, you know, two. Yeah. TZ. We have two Shikapa, that's with rice, rice balls. Okay. Okay. We have uh, lagba. You know lagba? No. They use rice okay. and grind it and do it with it. So it's like white something. So it looks like toza feet, but it's with it looks rice. Like toza, but it's not. Yes. Okay. Okay. They call it lagba. Okay. With soup. Are you your green soup? Agusi soup. Uh, uh, okay. The dry one. We have mm. dry one that's yeah, the pound. Yes. We call it uh, Kubewa Busheshe. Mm. Then we have uh, palm nut soup with leaves mm. mixed in, in it. Apart from Agusu. Mm. Mm. Different, different flavor that you want. Okay. You understand? Then, yeah, we have normal rice. Like Shinkapa. We call it Shinkapa. Okay. Shinkapa, not like Shinkapa in. Uh, 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 papaya mm -hmm. or shinkaba in uh, proper shinkaba with steam. So after eating this food, we have what we call dessert, right? Yes. So we have bukina. Okay. We have sobo. Mm -hmm. Then we have uh, Hausa beer. They use it with other ingredients like uh, some spices and mm -hmm. some things mm -hmm. that they do with it. Okay. Then they have zonko. All this like something you can drink. drink. You can eat fufu also. Call it sokora. Sokora. Sokora <laughs> is fufu. Yeah. And there are another food, plenty of food that you people don't know that we eat in Zongo. Like what? Eat. You know alele. You know wasa wasa. You know zogala. They are That's different. typical Zongo food. Typical That's Zongo a lot food. of people don't know. Don't know about. If you grew up in Nima, right? What is the typical life in Nima life? When they say Nima life, what is it about? How is it like? Oh, Nima life, okay, let's say from experience, if you grew up in Nima, number one, the way the community design, where we live, our houses, our rooms, hmm. where now that civilization comes, a lot of people now, they get their washroom in their room. Okay. First, it's not like that. Okay. Only one washroom. Only one toilet. And if you don't have a toilet, you go to public toilet. So you go to public toilet, there is a queue, everybody. You have to queue. You wake up in the morning, you want to bath. It's already queue. Then so you have to wait. So it's tough. It's not easy. It's not like things that you want to the way you want it to be, to be like that. So one, you have to be patient. You have to be tolerant. Like you have to accept everything that you are seeing physically, like face to face. You understand? And it's not like People have money. It's not like that. You see, like one, two, three houses. Because you see somebody that is rich, is 
very hard. Okay. Uh, okay. But everybody is living normal life. And sometimes, because we are different backgrounds, if I say different other tribes yeah. and culture, when you come out, you meet a lot of things. You have to accept it. You have to be part of it. You have to be mingled with that. That is what is in you that you can, if so far as you are in Nima, you live with it. So you have to be tough. Nima people have one principle. If they don't like you, they don't like you. If you like, go and carry gold. <laughs> Old money. They will still not like you. They will still not like you. Okay. If they like you, if even you are you are a witch, if they like you, they will die for you. Okay. You, you understand? Yeah. That's the way they are. Usually when you hear Nima, the general perception is that they are violent. They are not. Why? Are why not is violent. it? They why don't like that? disrespect. They don't like undermine. When Nima boy or Nima girl or Nima Nien see that you want to undermine him. So hey, they are called Nima Nien. Yes. <laughs> because you see it's coming from Nima. Okay. The, the perception out there. Now Nima people, they know that there is a perception out there. When you mention you are from Nima, they start looking at you. So some of them are aggressive for that. As soon as he start talking to you and you see, because you realize it's from Nima, you want to just talk to him anyhow or just speak in the manner that if you are speaking with some kids at uh, Apple Residential, the way you talk to him, the way you, then he, yeah, you start talking to him some way. Hey, forget that one, you will not get it. Either you are <laughs> president or whoever. So what will he do? He will go hard on him. That's why sometimes they paint us, they paint us as violent people. Because they intentionally provoke you based on even First time you didn't know me, you didn't. I'm not your friend, but you want to talk to me, and you are talking to me because we am from Lima. You talk to me anyhow. That's how they do. But I you, that know, you know, you know, from the top level. With this perception, shouldn't it be that if people act like that, you prove them wrong by being nice? No, 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 no. <laughs> Why don't you, in the first place, you have to act like that mm -hmm. because there is a perception that Nima people are violent or Nima people are, they are nobody. Mm -hmm. So if they are nobody, you meet one of Nima boys somewhere and you want to engage with them, you start engaging them with disrespect with some things. And you expect me to just like collect all these things and be nice and chill. Ah, you just have, you know, the way you talk to me, if somebody is talking to you like that, you don't know what. Mm -hmm. So Nima, you give them fire, they will give you fire. You respect them, they will respect you. Okay. That's it. Okay. If you respect, you respect Nima boy, it will give you the maximum. We even worship for you. But if you disrespect and you see something, you I'll give you an example. Shatawale. Shatawale has been the music scene for, for quite a long time, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you know Shatawale first, you know, they call him Doggy. That is first nickname. Shatawale is called Doggy. Mm -hmm. Then he changed the Doggy to Bandana. Then he changed bandana to Shatawale. Mm -hmm. So the time he changed his name to Shatawale, he came to me. And he came and he lived with our boys in the jail. Mm -hmm. He told them, my people, support me, help me. I see the way you support your own VIP. Mm -hmm. You understand? He said, do that to me. He, he went to Lazy VIP and Prodigal. That Prodigal, Promzy, and Lazy. Mm -hmm. And he support me, manage me. What he did is, he came and he, 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 he find a love from Nima people, mm -hmm. and that love, that support, carry him along. And today is who he is as Shatawale. Not Banana, as Shatawale that he is. It's Nima people who give him that love. He humble himself. You see the way he talks? He doesn't talk to Nima people like that, the way he behaves. He humble himself. Oh, today my boss is my boss. So Nima people, they love him. They hold him, mm. so now they die for him. Now you see where he is. I want you to give me five things that people don't know about Nima. They are loving people, like they love people. Mm -hmm. okay. Those who know, yeah. they use that thing in their advantage. You understand? Even the president. I'm a Nima boy, I'm a Nima boy. Yes, he's a Nima boy, because his father 
is the other house Nima and they, they all are, are there here, the Nima police station. Nima has a bunch of talents that people don't know. Bunch of talents. Nima is the safest place in terms of skills. Safest place. Safest. Wow, yes. why do you say that? Nima, Nima, you can even leave your store like this. You go and come back. Still see your goods like that. Really? Yes. Nima is the place you do business. You get your money. Your money is intact. Nobody will take your money. How is that? Because Nima people, they will not allow. They will not allow any criminal or any bad person or any bad thing to happen. And they, are, they see or they, they are seeing it and leave, leave it like that. They will go. They will, they will make sure they, they handle that thing. Way back, they kill women. They do it. They, they break bureaus, forest bureaus, uh, uh, filling stations. Even listen they start again. You will, never, you will never hear that thing. I mean, just last three days, they shoot a policeman at Gamashi uh, a timber market area. Yeah. A lot of those vans and police. Right now, I can I can take you on the road. You will see some of them. They are collecting money. If Nima is not safe, like you hear this kind of accidents. And we know them. They know, Nima people know say every evening the, the van, the pickup will come with the police and collect money on this shop, this shop, this shop, and go. Nobody will do anything and they'll go. I swear. Okay. Even it's happening somewhere. They will be seeing this. But it never happened. It, it will never happen. Uh, the last one people don't know is we have beautiful girls. Uh, beautiful girls, nice, nice girls. Okay. Not just nice by face, which you can marry and live with them. Yes. Okay. All right. So that's five things you didn't know about Nima that you know today. That's not all. We have one more thing and a final tour to cover. Hata will take us to Kaukudi, which is also part of Nima, and then we'll hear the story about that place also. Come along. And it has a very interesting story. We need to hear this story. And so we are just going to go straight to him. Atal, this is Kaokudi. Yeah. Um, first of all, what does Kaokudi mean? Kaokudi means... How did the name come about? Okay, from what me... Since I was born, I hear the name Kaokudi. Mm -hmm. So, and we also are asking, why is he called Kaokudi? So, but, some of our elders uh -huh. said that it's a place where, let's say, bad not or bad people or criminals okay. hiding here and they are doing their activity. So, if you don't know, <laughs> you appear here and they see you, they will attack you and say, Kaukudi. Kaukudi means bring money, bring your money. In Hausa? In Hausa language. Okay. Kaukudi which is bring, bring your money. money you understand so it's it's a place like a no-go area if you want to be safe or you want to go in peace you shouldn't pass here at the time at the time okay so during our time there's a big gutter here right behind this mall mm -hmm. the Catalan mall mm -hmm. big gutter that we used to swim in the gutter okay from 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 younger age like four, five, six, up to uh, 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 40. Mm -hmm. You see everybody is swimming in the gutter. Why this, was it clean water in there? It's clean water. Okay. You see it's clean, but it's passing through. Okay. As we are now, development has taken place. So that place over has been covered. Okay. Then Kaukudi. Now, we have Kaukudi 
in the sense that bring your money and buy things. Bring your money and do business. Or bring your money and put into this community. Way back, mm -hmm. there is a school here also mm -hmm. where they build the mall. And here is like kind of bushy, like oh, bush. Okay. So there is no road. No, this, this road is not exist. No road. Mm -hmm. All is you pass through bush. If you are going to airport, this is where we pass. You pass through the bush, pass uh, uh, inside here. You go uh, then you reach at uh, Opebia. Mm -hmm. There's a building called Opebia. Mm -hmm. Then you cross bush, 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 up to airport. Okay. You don't see them. They hide, they hide. Mm. So if you are coming, you don't see them, but they see you. So as soon as you enter the territory, they just take come. your money. Yes. Okay. Okay. Sometimes with knife, with other uh, uh, weapons. And we have the Kaukudi Park. Mm -hmm. The Kaukudi Park first is a park like this, mm -hmm. without grass, without nothing. You understand? Yeah. Uh -huh. But now the Kaukudi now is. It's, it's like mini stadium with floor lights. Okay. You can see with floor lights. Then we have Kalkudi Mosque, Central Mosque. Okay. The whole Ghana. Mm -hmm. This is the national mosque that they build there. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. At Kalkudi, the same area, the same negative area. You understand? Yeah. So the whole chief imam is going to residence in the uh, midst of the the, the project yeah. okay. you, you get me yeah. also behind the park mm -hmm. there is a construction going on there because they are taking the art market from Accra and bring it here so you can see in future or very soon the whole place will be like a, like a gold mine area what do the people of Nima what can you boast about number one we have a lot of scholars in Nima, mm. which even people don't know. Not only Nima, even abroad, some of our people born and bred in Nima. They are great people in the world. In terms of sports, mm -hmm. football, I can mention names, which their impact mm -hmm. raised the flag of Ghana mm -hmm. in, in football before. Yeah, what are those names? When you take the whole Ghana football, mm -hmm. Ghana, when you, you, you mention football in Africa, mm -hmm. football nation, Ghana, in, Ghana is one of them. Because we took the African Cup of Nations four consecutive times. Mm -hmm. Since then, we never take again. Over, over 30 years now, the Nima people are among those who, who did that. One is Mohamed Polo. Mohamed Polo is a figure in football in Ghana, which we have generation to generation, but his generation or the generation before himself, they salute, they talk about his talent and his contribution to the Ghana football. The boxing side is Azuma Nelson and football side is Mohamed Ahmed Polo. We have late Mamakwa, they call him Bomba. He play Accra as a folk, play Black Stars. We have Anas Sedu, Thunder. They call him thunder because if he fires shot, it's like thunder mm. rockets. You understand? Okay. Which one of the best strikers in, in Black Stars back in the days. Now, as we speak, Kudus Mohammed. Kudus is a young chap which he was born and bred and grew up here. This is where Kudus starts here. This part, mm -hmm. culture park here, Kalkudu here. Okay. And currently, Black Stars. If you want to mention best three players in the Black Stars now. <laughs> if you didn't mention Kudus, you can't mention anybody. Okay. If you didn't mention Kudus first, you mentioned the day you didn't mention the day you mentioned Kudus. Okay. Then when you take music side, mm -hmm. music, entertainment, you can't talk about Ghana music, especially hip life genre, mm -hmm. and forget VIP. Okay. VIP is one of the biggest group in Africa. Biggest group in Africa. Mm -hmm. They make name, they they break market of the whole African, let, let's say African uh, uh, giant, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. VIP leave Ghana, enter to Nigeria, break their markets. Up to today, no artists in Ghana be able to do that. They are trying their best. Mm -hmm. 
but up to now, no artist in Ghana break the, yeah, uh, the, the Nigerian market up to today. When it comes to art, mm -hmm. art itself, drawing. Mm -hmm. You see Chaleote Festival? Yeah. That you hear Chaleote Festival, Chaleote. Mm -hmm. It's Nima Boys who their skill and talent mm -hmm. raised that, uh, uh, that festival. One of them is Mo, Nicholas, Kamal, mm -hmm. and Rufai. You understand? Mm -hmm. Currently, when you go to Sankara, Sankara, yeah, the, the overhead, mural. under the mirrors. Yeah. They are the people who do the mirrors. When you go to the opposite Kufo Hotel, that's African Regent, mm -hmm. the under there, the mirrors. Yeah. A lot of mirrors that you see is Nima boys who are doing the work. Okay. You understand? With the mayor of Accra. Okay. And uh, the Charlie Water Festival also is the same Nima boys. Those are mentioning their name. They are the people who are doing the arts and all that the things that you see majority of them mm. i didn't say some artists didn't come from somewhere but majority let's say they are the, the, the like from... they are the foundation okay. who built the chaleote festival okay. so i'm happy to be here i'm happy i was born here and grew up here still living here and we are happy you could take us around and tell us all these beautiful yes, yes 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 thank you so much for thank you thank you and that's how we wrap up this edition of people and places it's been insightful as usual we brought you the best and you only find that on people and places so thank you for making time with us let's make time some other time and have a good time with people and places my name is